ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 65 Functions. This is the start of section 14. Functions are specialized formulas that make calculations easier. They're grouped into categories, some of which are statistical, financial, logical, maths and trig, text, date and time databases, and lookup and reference. In general, statistical functions deal with analyzing numerical data from simple counting and averaging to calculating complex distribution parameters. So some of the statistical functions that you're likely to come across are count, which counts the number of cells that contain numbers, Count A, which counts alphanumerics, in other words, numbers and text. And Count If, which counts the number of cells in a range that match a supplied condition. And we'll look into these later on in subsequent lessons. Financial functions deal mainly with calculations involving depreciation, loan repayments and investments over extended timescales. And here are the more common financial functions, including NPV, which is net present value of an investment, FV, which is to calculate the future value, PMT, to calculate the monthly payment amount against the simple loan amount, RATE, which will return the interest rate, and IRR, which will return the internal rate of return for a series of cash flows. Logical functions deal with the testing and setting of conditions involving true and false values. Math and trig functions deal with processing individual numeric data from simple rounding to complex trigonometric calculations. We also have functions for text, and these deal with manipulating text strings, such as concatenating, which is joining two or more text strings into one, lower, which will convert all uppercase letters to lowercase, proper, which capitalizes the first letter in a text string, and upper, which converts text to uppercase. Date and time functions deal with the processing and reformatting of all data relating to dates and times. So here we can see today will return the serial number of the current date, day will return the day of a date, month will return the month of a date, year will return the year of a date. The date function will create a valid date from the individual year, month, and day components. Now returns the serial number of the current date and time, and time returns the decimal number for a particular time. Database functions deal specifically with data, usually numeric, which are held in a list or a database. And here we can see dsum, which adds the numbers in a column of records, dmin, which returns the smallest number in a column of records, dmax will return the largest number in a field of records, and dcount, which will count the cells that contain numbers in a field or a column of records. Finally, Lookup and reference functions deal mainly with data in tables or ranges, for example, retrieving values or transposing vertical and horizontal ranges. Functions, like formulas, are preceded by an equal sign. Functions can be used as values in calculations. They can be nested, so they can be used within other functions. And one thing to note is that other spreadsheet applications may have different names for the same functions. OK, in the next few lessons, we're going to go into more detail for each of these functions. 
We're going to initially look at date and time functions, then lookup functions, then we'll move on to mathematical functions, statistical functions, text functions, financial functions, database functions, and nested functions. Okay, I hope this has helped as a little introduction for functions, and as I said, we'll be going into more detail in the next few lessons. Okay, I look forward to seeing you then.